Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today, we're making cockles with a sweet chili sauce. Kind of a Thai recipe. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gup. Before we go into today's ingredients and the recipe, do me the huge favor. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please do me the favor. Hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode is online. But now, without further ado, let's have a look at the ingredients. I have quite a lot of ingredients on the board today, and I'll take these away, because these are the cockles, and we'll cook them later on. But I'll take them away so we have more space, and now we can see it a bit better. The only important part of the cockles is to rinse them well. Sometimes they can have a bit of sand in them, so just run them under cold water Maybe move them around a bit, get rid of the water, and repeat until you have the feeling that they're clean. There's nothing worse than eating cockles or clams, or that matter, similar thing, when you've got the sand in between your teeth. So the rest of the ingredients here is what we need for the sweet chili sauce. We need a pineapple. We need 45 grams of palm sugar. We need about 10 grams of cornstarch. We need some salt. We need two lemongrass stalks, two red peppers. We need some coriander. I have the roots as well. They go into the paste. We need about 10 cloves of garlic. I do it with six chilies. You could do it with more or with less, depending on how hot you like it. Um, six chilies is perfect for my 14-year-old daughter. More, and it will be too hot for her. And we have 150 grams of uh, rice vinegar. And that's what we need for the sweet chili. And we need to do some prep of the vegetables. Um, we're going to put it all. Classically, you do this in a mortar. But we're going to put it in the mixer. It goes a bit quicker. Um, we're then going to move over to the stove and finish off the sauce there. Because the vinegar and the sugar needs to dissolve um, on the stove. And then we're going to add the paste that we'll make out of the rest of the things. So let's start with the vegetable prep and the fruit prep. Let's start off with the pineapple. I'm sure you all know how, how to prepare a pineapple already. Uh, for this recipe, we're going to need 150 grams. So we by far not going to need the whole pineapple. But I will peel the whole pineapple at least. And it's a perfect thing that either you can have it as a snack or you can make a fruit salad or whatever you want. So I will do that, uh, weigh up 150 grams. And everything we're prepping now, you can put in your blender. So this is about 150 grams of pineapple. Now, I have a new knife. I got it from a, a very good friend of mine, Benny, thank you, uh, for my birthday. So let's try this out. I've never used this before. It feels a bit heavier than what I'm used to. has like a special grip so that you're forced to hold your knife properly. And just chop off the two peppers as well. After this, we'll move on to the chilies. So I'll see you in a bit when we're doing the chilies. And for the chilies, you don't have to be too careful since it's going in the mixer. And they go. Next up, lemongrass. Let's uh, pound them. Here I like to cut them fine, just to help the mixer along. Such an amazing aroma. So we're good with that. And 
Next up are Galangal. Slice it up. For the coriander, take the roots. The neighbor's dog is getting excited. I don't know if you can hear that. But he will quiet down. Now for our garlic cloves, we're just gonna peel them, which is quite boring, so. I'll see you once we've done that. That's the last thing that needs to go in here before we can start to blitz it. So I'll see in a minute or two. Oh, and these can go in whole. That's the last one. Now we're gonna clean up here, get the machine out. The other prep we need to do, but we can skip that for the video, is just to chop up your coriander. We're gonna use that to decorate with. So I'll see you once this is clean up and we have the machine out. Get the lid on, then we're good to go. It's gonna be loud, so I'll see you once it's done. Mm. <coughs> Chili, that smells great. Now we'll just put this into another bowl. We're gonna move over there, and we're gonna finish the sauce. So we put our rice vinegar in, 150 grams, that's a 150 milliliters as a reminder, and our brown sugar, 45 grams. Now we're just gonna warm this up, let it dissolve. And it's not brown sugar. As I said at the beginning, it's palm sugar. It looks like brown sugar. Now we can also put a good pinch I'll say almost a teaspoon of salt. It's starting to dissolve nicely. It's almost boiling. And I changed my mind, I didn't change the container. So let's put a little bit in. Now with this recipe, you're gonna have a sweet chili sauce that has a texture to it. It's not like, gonna be like the one you buy. Um, I, I like that. If you don't, then uh, I guess you could try to sieve it or strain it. I've never tried it because I really enjoy it, but that's an option. Let this come to a boil again. Reduce a little bit. Now we'll make sure that it has the right level of salt. And then we're going to add the cornstarch to, to get it to thicken up a little bit. I'll see you in a bit. I'm quite happy where we are. So let's put half of the cornstarch in to start with. So around five grams. I also turned down the heat now. Now I'm quite happy with the consistency. It will thicken up as, it's cool, as it cools down as well. Let's give this a try. It's a bit more salt. Good pinch. Let's try it. Perfect. Now we'll put this to the side and we'll continue with our cockles. So we're good to go with our cockles. on so they can steam nicely in there. It won't take many minutes. So we're done and we'll mix in our 
sweet chili sauce. Making sure we mix it well. Let's serve it up. But before we serve this up, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me the huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It only takes you a second. It's down there. Just click on it. It's really valuable to me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. But now let's serve this up. get some of the beautiful sauce as well. I mean, that's why we did it, right? And last but not least, our coriander. Now let's dig in. We're gonna need a spoon for the, for the juice. This is so good. You need to have a bit of patience because they're not so big. But I love the, I love the um, consistency of cockles. Mm. The mix of ocean and uh, sweet chili. Fantastic. I think it's j just the right heat. Spiciness. Those are really refreshing this. Mm. You can make it with, now I made it with cockles because I like that. You can make it with mussels, you can make it with clams. I mean, you, you could make it with raised clams, that would be perfect. It's just a really, in the end, a simple dish. There's not much technique that you need. Um, and I think, it's something, you know, the sweet chili, you can do quite a lot of it and you, it keeps for in the fridge four or five weeks if you have a nice bottle where you can put it and close it. So it's, it's worth doing it. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions about the recipe, just leave them in the comments below. I always answer the comments. Um, that's it for this time. Before you go though, if you're not a subscriber yet, do me the huge favor, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.